Well, good evening, and welcome to another presentation by How You Diet. And tonight we're going to talk about a new health retreat that's uh, opening, and uh, we're real excited to share with you the details. We have a wonderful co-host this this evening, and uh, we'll introduce her in just a few minutes. But I know she's real excited to share what what's been put together here. Before we get started, though, let's just open in a word of prayer. Dear Lord, we just thank you for this uh, this opportunity to share this great development that's been in the works for for several years, Lord. And we know that uh, um, we want to honor you through it, and pray that the information we share will be um, well received, and that the the concept that we played out will um, will help many people. We know that this is a time where many people are hurting with the with the virus, and we pray that uh, you'll help them as they try to stay healthy. And we pray that we honor you in this presentation. In Jesus' name, amen. So um, we're going to talk about a, a health retreat that's opening. And to help um, introduce it is my beautiful bride, Ann Malkness. And I'm Paul Malkness, in case I didn't introduce myself early, so that kind of helps. Um, and I'm the president and CEO of Howie Diet. And Ann is the chief education officer for Howie Diet. And been with Howie Diet for um, a number of years and has served in different roles from um, helping in marketing to um, head of the health ministers to the chief education officer. But she's also um, written books. She has a book on cancer that's over 400 pages with an accompanied um, recipe book. She's developed health minister trainings and webinars. And we together have done programs like the 60 Day Challenge which is still quite active. In fact, there's a group that just started that here this, this last week. Um, she helped in training in Nigeria. We were there for two months and uh, trained health ministers at, literally all over the world. So it's a real privilege to have Anne with us, and uh, welcome, Anne. Well, thank you. It's a privilege to be here. So, so Anne has um, had this desire for a number of years, and I told her she was crazy. Um, but she's finally convinced me to do something crazy with her. And uh, so, Anne, um, you're opening the retreat here soon. So what what is the burning passion with this? Why a health retreat? Why am I doing this? Is that what you're telling me? Why am I doing this? <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> well, I, I really have had a real strong interest. When we had the store several years ago, people would come in, and I would spend sometimes four or five or more hours with people, trying to help them to deal with some of their health issues and to be able to go home and figure it out on a day-to-day -day basis. And one of the things we've learned through that is sometimes people just need a little guidance, a little one-on-one -on -one support. So this comes from the number of people that I've worked with through email, through phone calls, that I just wish I could just bring them in and keep them for a while and give them some ideas. Well, and I think you found when you were doing your consults and when you do the consults, the questions and the situations are um, kind of the same. And so you were finding you were repeating yourself. Um, so you're trying to put together something that everybody can come and kind of walk through at the same time. It's amazing, though everyone has a few different variables, there is almost a thread to some of these situations. So because of that, we feel like we can really help a lot of people because we've been doing this for so many years. But I think spending a week with us could make a major difference in their lives. Mm -hmm. So before we get started, I'd like to just go ahead and um, put a little disclaimer out there while we um, call it a health retreat and people will be coming here with um, health issues. This um, is, we're not diagnosing, we're not prescribing, we're not physicians. Um, and as we go through the slides, you'll see that we, do, we have no medical on staff, no medical team on staff. So um, we'll, we'll explain more as we go, but just wanted to put a disclaimer out there so there wasn't any confusion in that. So I don't know about you, but I spend a lot of time doing a lot of research, not just for me, but for people that I work with. And what I've noted is that if you get on the internet, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's just on Google or Safari or whatever that is, it is overwhelming the sheer number of people that can tell you that they can help you in so many different ways. And it is overwhelming. It's overwhelming for all of us. So the question is, who do you start with? What are they selling? 
and all these other crazy, crazy questions. And so we really wanted to be able to, we've been around for 30 years, just about, isn't it been almost yeah, 30? almost 30. So we really feel like with starting with Reverend Malcolmus, we really believe that we have helped a lot of people and we've done it through honest communication. Um, it's really important to us to stay that way. So what we're doing is we're trying to create something that helps as many people as we can. Mm -hmm. And you know, because you people have been with us for a number of years, what happens when uh, we, um, I'm not sure where it went. <laughs> there it is. When you learn how to nourish and care for your body. These are just a small, small segment of what changes in a person's body. But we've got to figure out how to take care of it, how to nourish it, and how to make sure that it has some of those other factors that we tend to forget. You know, like fresh air and plenty of water and excellent sleep and stress reduction. Mm -hmm. So that's what I know about that. Yep. So we all have, or many of us have issues that we want to work with. So let's introduce the How You Diet Health Retreat. Oh, my goodness. I will tell you, folks, it has taken us two years to find the right place. And I have taken this gentleman beside me and traipsed him all over the place so that we could find the right place. And it was not easy. And while we had found it a while ago, the coronavirus decided that it was going to give us a little more time to prepare. So we weren't able to open it because it wasn't the right time. And, of course, what you think of when you think that is, this is God's timing. You just continue on to do what you think is his will. And sure enough, we found this gorgeous place in Georgia. It's on eight private acres of rolling hills and gorgeous trees. We will have six bedrooms mm -hmm. and five en suites. And actually, the sixth bedroom will have a bathroom. It just won't be inside of it. The wooden beams in the house are gorgeous. It's like a big, huge cabin, and it's got huge windows that make you look outside and you feel like it's just, you see, we saw a bear, was it about a month ago? Yeah. And he looked kind of like a dog, but he wasn't really a dog because dogs don't run like that. And we see deer constantly, and it's just a place that we never expected to find. But again, you leave it in God's hands, even if it takes two years, we found it. She's had me traipsing all over the country. <laughs> I did. That's absolutely right. <laughs> so the Hallelujah Diet Health Retreat has three levels of decking. It has a koi pond with fish in it and frogs. My goodness, those frogs frighten me every time I go by it. The gardens we have are ones that are naturally created and ones that we've created. So it's kind of fun to roam through them. You've got a lot of different places that we've created on that property. So you can go out and take your book, take your Bible, and enjoy the peace and tranquility. I told Paul, I said, if people cannot heal here, I would be surprised because of how quiet and peaceful it is. We do have an inc incredible exercise room, and we'll show you a picture of it. Two beautiful living rooms, one upstairs and one down. And we have the six spacious guest rooms. We have a spa room, and who knows what else we've got. <laughs> So here's some images of the, the two living rooms. Um, both have fireplaces, by the way, and it's just really beautiful lodge-like. In fact, as, as Anne has described it many times, if you looked out there at like Vale or one of those ski resorts, it looks like the, the lodge looks uh, should, be, should be there. And um, she wanted to put in some um, of the, the guest suites and what they look like, and you can see they're quite large, enough for each one has its own sitting area. Um, and the windows are large windows overlooking some of the beautiful um, trees and nature that's out here. It's, it's really pretty neat. And the outdoor spaces, those, I think that's what really compelled us to, to look at this house as a great health retreat. Because, because it's Georgia, it isn't going to have the winters of some of the northern climate, although it definitely does have a winter. But in the summer and in the spring, which is an endless spring we noted this year, and I'm sure the autumns will be as well, what you're going to find are we've got several sitting areas. Many of them have little propane fire around them. So then you can just sit amongst yourselves 
and you can enjoy the beauty and the surroundings with a little heat so that you can either get the ambiance from it or you might, you might depending on the uh, time of the year, you might enjoy the warmth. So there are, there are some beautiful stone walkways. It's just, and it's got the koi pond, which you saw. It has, um, it has a place that's in a screened in area. So we don't know, we've never been here in the winter or the, sorry, in the summer. But if the mosquitoes get crazy, believe it or not, it has a screened in beautiful area. And as I said earlier, many of these have propane. And here's a picture of the organic garden, some of them that we put in already. And it's amazing. We, we're watching all of the produce jump. Every day. And every day. It's just neat. Um, we've got tomatoes that are, that are doing great and peppers. And we want to um, try to demonstrate we have all sorts of different raised beds, patio gardens, things that people can do in their own home. Um, and so we want to demonstrate um, how easy it is really to start a garden. At this time in our lives, and I think you'll note this as well, trying to be preparing your own food, creating your own food, growing your own food, this is really critical in this time for various different reasons. Whether we're dealing with a quarantine issue, whether we're dealing with people are hoarding things, or maybe there's just been some sort of an infestation and it took out a crop of something. So we, we're we really going to spend quite a bit of time sharing with you how to grow in different capacities. Now, while the facility is, is gorgeous and the, the home is just beautiful, um, we really that's really not the highlight. Um, it's really what goes on while people are here that really brings it into um, full healing. Absolutely. We, we wanted the right back, we wanted the right house, we wanted the right location, but you're also going to have time to be able to wander around, as we said earlier. But we're going to keep these weekly programs rather intimate. And the reason is because we want to make sure that everything that we're offering to one is going to be available and utilized by all. Over the years, Anne's really um, studied. She's a, she loves to study and research, and she's found a lot of things and experimented, and we've, we've been experimenting with a lot of things that complement a diet and lifestyle to help jumpstart people in their journey to health, um, help them detox faster, and, and help them heal faster. Um, and so as we go through this presentation, you'll be able to see more of that. So who is it that would like to come to something like this? Well, in our opinion, anyone who's looking to improve their physical, their mental, their spiritual, or their emotional health is welcome. This is a safe, secure, and, and welcoming environment. So feel free to bring a friend, a spouse, a family member with you because sometimes it's really nice to share this type of warmth and, and, and encouragement with someone else. However, as we said before, we are not a medical facility. We have no nurses, no doctors on staff. Our goal is to provide you an environment where you can come to terms with and begin the mental, spiritual, emotional, and physical forms of healing. So, so of course, Holly Diet and Holly Acres, we are a Christian organization. So somebody may ask, well, I'm not a Christian. Am I still welcome? And we say, absolutely. Um, we, we have biblical principles, and we'll have times for devotions and prayer each day, but it's really a non-threatening atmosphere. In fact, when we were in Nigeria, it's kind of interesting, which most of Nigeria is a um, Christian, or at least in the southern part where we were at, but we had many people who were um, of other faiths that were there, and they felt so comfortable being able to participate, even though it was a Christian um, based program, and so it's. Um, we really want to invite everybody, and we'll just um, enjoy helping people. Well, you know, God created everyone's body, and He gave everyone a self-healing, miraculous self-healing body. And all we're trying to do is to help everyone get back into that ability for their body to take control and begin the recovery. So, are there any physical requirements? Well, first, you must be able to walk around on your own. Um, it's not a um, sick care type facility, and so we're not able to take care of people in that um, position since we don't have any nurses. So people need to be able to function. They need to be able to go up and down stairs. 
Um, they need to be able to use the bathroom. They need to be able to eat. Um, so the, these are the physical requirements. There's some light walking, you know, that we can do. We have a beautiful driveway that's paved um, that we walk back and forth on quite a while. It's a long driveway. Um, but there's, there's no real physical requirements for anybody other than to be able to be self-sufficient. We are situated on eight acres of rolling hills in a quiet, serene area near Canton, Georgia. We're about an hour northeast from the Atlanta National Airport. We are tucked away, which we love, yet we are relatively close to the city and to the lake. Mm -hmm. and so from a proximity standpoint, um, you can see that we're within driving distance of, of many major cities. Um, so while we're near the airport, um, not only are there cities, but there are also several attractions that we're, that we're relatively close to. So we, there should be a um, good segment of people that are able to drive here comfortably within a day. Um, and so we hope that people are able to locate us here. We live near several adorable towns. They are just cute. We haven't had much opportunity, to be honest with you. We started looking, well, last fall. And then about the same time when we were able to come here is about the same time they quarantined everyone. And those beautiful little cities ended up uh, closing up. But some of those little towns include Alpharetta, Milton, Roswell, and Crabapple. And I need you to know you go up and down their quaint little main street and you will find them adorable. Now, not far from where we live, you will see beautiful homes with fenced-in yards and horses either grazing or being ridden in the fields. For those of you who are like me and have never really spent much time around horses, this place is gorgeous. It's just incredible. Also, there are a number of walking trails, scenic areas, and parks within, within a very short air radius of where we live. Yeah, we've actually been thoroughly impressed with the spring here and the the colors, the flowers, the, the rolling hills, the, the foliage. Um, we had no idea, actually. We both have been around the country and the world quite a bit. And we have to say this is really a gorgeous area that, we're, that we found in. We had no idea. This was God leading Paul to finding this, because I didn't find it. Paul did. And I'm really grateful to him for that. So common questions. Yeah. When does the week start and when does it end? You're going to start any time after 3 p.m. on Sunday afternoon. Come in, enjoy a meal with us and some fellowship before we go on to begin our rest for the night. Your week will be complete after lunch on Friday, so you can make it to the airport in plenty of time for a late Friday afternoon flight. What is the lodging like? You'll have your own room, or you can share it with another one, and each room will have their own bathroom except for the one I told you. All of the rooms have king-size beds. We do have one apartment where there's a king size and a queen size. So if you felt like you would like to share this with another person in the same room, that would be your choice and that would be the one you'd want. How do you get from the airport to the retreat center? In today's world, there's an Uber, there's a Lyft, and there are taxis. And we did a research and it would cost you around $80 one way from the airport to our retreat house using the Uber. So what is the attire and what should you bring? Well, the seasons here, of course, there's four seasons. Um, the spring and the, in fact, tomorrow and the next day, I think we're supposed to be down in the mid 60s. Um, yesterday was 80, I think it was. So they fluctuate quite a bit here in the spring. Um, summers get a little warm with um, 90 degree plus probably. And then winters are typically mild, probably someplace in the um, 50s would be a normal winter day. Some comfortable walking shoes because we do um, like to take walks and get, some, get a little bit of fresh air and exercise. Um, bring a Bible if you have one. If not, there will be plenty here. Um, a light jacket, some toiletries, a phone charger, and medications if you have them, and bathing suit for the sauna. So far in for the sauna. We'll talk about that in a moment. So let's talk about what's included in a week at the health retreat individualized health consultation with me, and we'll talk about that a little more later, but we're going to spend some time on you. Uh, individualized recommendations based on what, we're what I'm hearing from you and what you've tried and what I've learned. All of your meals, daily fresh juices. We believe this is a luxury accommodation if we've ever seen one. Wi-Fi, 
classes. We're going to be teaching uh, once a day. You'll have a class either with Paul or myself or both. You'll be seeing some demonstrations. You'll see, you'll get, you will be getting Hallelujah Diet supplements while you're here at the retreat for the week. You'll be getting daily exercise, fresh air, sunshine, as much as possible, not knowing what the weather will be like. And we are going to offer you gentle immune and detoxification methods that we have through the years identified and began to, to collect, and we've used them all by all of our own. Mm-hmm. So when we're talking about some of those detox and immune enhancing therapies, we have ionic foot baths, which help to detox through the, the feet. Um, we have massage, a really incredible massage chair um, that we all fight over. Um, grounding mats um, for helping to rebalance. A rife machine um, or whole body tuners, as we talk about it, um, which we'll explain a little bit more. Some vibration therapies, some wage therapies, and ozone therapies. And then Ann mentioned that we have a really uh, well put together gym. And it's, uh, we have the total gym, which I think is just incredible. Um, I, I think that's probably one of the neatest exercise um, pieces of equipment that they that put out. We have the Peloton bike and treadmill. I um, mean, both of us love the, the bike and the treadmill. Um, neither one of us were real big fans necessarily before we started using this. And you'll find that it's really pretty um, interactive and empowering. Um, video classes for stretching, breathing, and body shaping. We have rebounders. We have a pre-core glider, which is kind of like a stepper. Um, we have free weights and exercise bands and a big exercise space for just out exercising out in the open. And don't forget the walking. Yep, and walking. During your, your stay, you will enjoy morning devotions, hopefully plenty of sunshine, fresh juices, gentle exercise, food preparation classes where we're going to be teaching you, individual health assessments, health education classes, and what we said before, the foot bath, all of the different therapies for restoring and your immune health and your gentle detoxification, which we'll talk more. You're going to enjoy various different types of recipes, various different types of resources, breathing exercises, and immune enhancing therapies. And that's I mean, there's so much of a, of, you're going to be busy. <laughs> so who'll be doing the, preparing the food and the juices? Well, it's really, the center is designed to help you experience gentle detoxing and improving your immunity. It's not here for you to work in the kitchen and to be really focused on that type of it. We'll have some food prep classes and we'll do some demonstrations, but the focus is not on food preparation. It's more on getting your body and utilizing some of the therapies, some of the many therapies, and you'll notice a huge shift in your overall health through the therapies that, that Ann will be working, working through with you. So we'll have the freshly extracted juices and living food salads and um, healthy and hearty cooked foods each day. And you'll have a binder with some recipes that you can take and, and go home with. So um, we really want you to come in and enjoy and not necessarily do as much in the kitchen and be participating in the juicing as much, though you'll have some opportunity to touch it. What will you eat? We eat very simply, and we eat from the garden. Therefore, you'll learn how to create simple, wholesome meals. Many of you have seen us with the salad box before, but there may be a few of you that haven't seen it in a few days. Have you seen the salad in a jar and how to create that? And I want you to know my husband is a whiz with the Instapot. So we have some extraordinary recipes that we've utilized with that. He's also done some beautiful microgreens. So you'll see how we've done that as well. We like blending our salads, but we also have other blended recipes. And, of course, who doesn't enjoy ice cream on a hot summer day? So for drinking, we'll have freshly extracted vegetable juices, some herbal teas, We'll do some uh, vegetable broths um, that will be available each day. Um, of course, distilled water with fresh fruit infused, and then, of course, barley mac. So what are you going to do with that? You don't have to be an avid exerciser. You don't even have to be good at any type of exercising. But when you're here, we're going to give you an opportunity to learn to try different approaches, okay? So every day there will be some opportunity for you to move your body. Whether it's gentle, whether it's a little more aggressive, that's your decision. 
But if you can't move your body, it's going to be very difficult to get into the next stage of, of healing. We'll have daily prayer each morning, and we'll do some devotion and worship. We'll also have a, a time of, of praise and thanksgiving before each meal. And then um, if somebody has a guitar or has a musical um, ability, and don't look at Ann and myself because neither one of us do, but we'd, we'd love to have some uh, sing-along time in the evening. So each day there will be a presentation either by Ann or by Paul or by both. And the goal would be for us to have a lot of fun and fill you with lots of practical and great information that we've learned and researched and we think you're going to find interesting. And, and the important part there is practical. So sometimes health is made so complicated. Where do you start? How do you know what to do first or second? And, and what we've really tried to do is make things practical and simple and get down to what's really important um, for you to experience the benefits of healthy living. You're also going to have time each day, and we want you to be able to wander around the grounds and read one of the many books available to you, catch a glimpse of the deer in the yard, check out the many birds that are eating from our bird feeders. We also want you to be able to rest if you need it, or pray, or meditate, or maybe socialize with another guest. We really do think that's a very important part of this time here. Although I have to be honest with you, with the schedule of what we're giving to you, I have no idea how much time you'll have, but we're going to make time for you. It's important. So before you arrive, um, you'll receive a lengthy questionnaire in the email, and we request that you send that back before you come. It will really help to us focus on um, the the counseling session with Ann, but also even what you can try to accomplish through the week that you're here. So one of the first things that we are going to share with you now is one of the modalities. Many of you have had ionic foot baths. We've decided we're going to use this as part of our program here. We'd like for you to utilize it if you want to. And you get a foot detox. Um, it's basically a bath. You get to stay in it from 20 to 30 minutes. You will get one every single starting on Monday that you're here. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, because because we think that's really important. And what happens in these in the foot baths is that it's helping to clean the lymph system. So it's it's moving the lymph, which you know your your blood um, has a pump called the heart. The lymph doesn't have a a pump, so it needs to have some motivation to move and and to kind of move it. So what it does is it helps to remove the toxins from within the body um, through the feet. And so it's a real interesting watching people as they're doing the on a clip baths. Everybody's is different. Um, my sister, she um, was using shower in her house that was um, not through a filter. And it was probably after the first couple of foot baths, you'd walk into the room when she was doing her foot bath and you could actually smell chlorine. And when we said, why, do, why does it smell so much like chlorine, she realized how much chlorine was in her water. And so the ionic foot bath was actually pulling the chlorine and, and move, removing the chlorine from her body that had been built up in there for years. So just a real interesting um, thing that we experienced just with, with one of the people that we, we know well. And one of the things that I experience with foot baths when I work with people, sometimes they can't, they can't allow themselves to be able to exclude any of the toxins right away. So that's why it's important for us to give you one every single day. So infrared sauna, um, we, this sauna we have has um, near um, and far infrared, and it's another way of detoxing. Um, it warms up the skin um, a little farther in and helps to push out some of the um, toxins as well as has many healing properties. And so it's a real neat way of, and this actually is a picture of one of the saunas. We have more than one sauna here, but um, it's, it's a picture of one of the sauna. A lot of the benefits include sweating. It, you'd be amazed at the number of people that I have met through the years that cannot sweat. And my own mother could not sweat. And we all think, well, that's kind of nice. They don't have to deal with body odor, right? No, that's really not nice. The goal is to be able to sweat as often as you can so that you can excrete that body or the, the toxins through 
one of the main channels of, of excretion, and that's your sweat. It will boost the immune system. You'll get some deep tissue release. It helps you with metabolism, reducing stress, heart health, blood pressure, circulation, wound healing. I mean, it's a sauna. While it's not something people have in their homes, it is a very powerful source of help. Mm -hmm. And then the whole body tuner is really amazing. Um, and it's, it's way too complicated to really discuss in, a, in this setting as we're trying to move through. But it has several different elements to it that come together um, and really provides a lot of um, stimulation for the body. And so it, it kind of helps to balance the body, um, balance the organs, um, as well as helps to kill off viruses, bacteria, um, and different things that are going on within the body that the body is trying to fight. And so when you combine what this is doing with some of the other detox methods with the ionic foot baths and the um, sauna, this helps to kind of break down some of the things that are going on negatively in the body. And then those other two help to remove it and pull it, pull it out of the body. And some of the benefits include increased vitality, improved circulation, pain relief, flexibility. We say reduce need for medications, but it'd be something that would need to be done on a more consistent basis for that. Accelerated healing of injury, mold and fungus issues. Again, it has to be on a little longer consistent basis, but it has had those, those um, improvements. And then of course, the longer you, or the more you strengthen your immune system, the more resistant you are to various different issues. Therapy that's really interesting and exciting with what the benefits are is ozone, ozone therapy. And we know how important oxygen is in the body. Um, you can live without food for a period of time. You can live without food or water for a period of time, but try living without oxygen. And so when we can oxidate the cells and, and kind of push oxygen in, then um, the body has some really neat um, ways that it, it adjusts and comes into um, utilizing that oxygen. And there's just some incredible um, benefits from it as people look at using oxygen therapies. And so you can see where it increases the energy and stamina and there's, it's a, almost an immediate. So some people will go to um, hyperbaric chambers to increase the amount of oxygen. What that does is it kind of pushes the ox oxygen into the body, but it doesn't, it doesn't accelerate the way the body uses the oxygen, where the ozone actually increases the uptake of the oxygen in the body, not just pushes it in. And it kind of goes directly um, into the liver, depending on how, you, how it's administered, and really then spreads throughout the body. It's, it's quite neat. It improves the overall, or the sense of overall well-being. And quite often there is a um, um, negative reaction in that it, it activates the immune system and starts killing things that are going on in the body. So there's some die-off and some things like headaches and things. But that's where with using this with um, some of the detox um, modalities also help to decrease that. It decreases pain and discomfort and improves clarity and decreases brain fog. And one other type of therapy that I have been using quite a bit for the last several years is vibration therapy. Um, I really appreciate this. It is also known as vibration null therapy or vibration training. I want to share with you the benefits of them. I personally have found it has extremely been valuable for my lymphatic system, extremely helpful. But as you can tell, vibration therapy, and the nice thing about that is it isn't, you, you don't have to be an athlete to use it. You don't even have to run or walk. It's just you stand there and you, you use it. it. It has similar benefits as the rebounder does, but this one's actually beneficial for people that cannot bounce at all. Mm -hmm. So it's an excellent, excellent point that I've used many, many years. And we actually have two different machines, and one of them has programs, depending on what you're trying to address, um, whether it's um, increase bone density or weight loss or build strength, um, it'll, it actually has programs that you can um, activate for those. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking to boost your energy, digestive health, remove parasites, 
have better liver function, boost your immune system, and all these other little things, would you believe a coffee enema might just be the answer? Using a coffee enema as part of your detox protocol might keep disease from brewing in your liver and your lower digestive tract. So if you've never done one, you have an opportunity to have a coffee enema here. This is not something we would recommend every single day that you're here, but we want to teach you and show you what it looks like, what the recipe is, and you can tell, and I have had coffee enemas, and I am not a coffee drinker, but I have had great success in feeling my breathing is better. I have greater clarity in my mind. I've really appreciated what the coffee enemas have done. So we're offering this as part of our weekly program, and if anyone has any interest in it, we are so eager for you to try it. And then something called the IMRS, it's uh, similar to be a Beamer. Um, we feel it's a little bit better type of um, um, treatment or um, benefits, therapies, but it, it uses low frequencies to help balance the body. And it's um, great to use for just a, a half dozen minutes in the morning and then a half dozen minutes in the evening um, to really help to balance out the body's energy and and people notice a lot of improvements with improved sleep. And I think we have a slide on the benefits. Um, the mental clarity, less stress, um, improves mobility. So there's just, it's, it's just laying down on a beautiful mat and just relaxing for a few minutes, but it does, it does some incredible things for people when they do it. Mm -hmm. So an all-inclusive week-long program where else can you go to get mostly organic living foods and freshly extracted vegetable juices, great information, personal guidance, effective detoxification and immune building measures, peace, tranquility, love, quality nutritional supplements, all in a luxurious surrounding with a Christian theme? Where can you go for that? I don't know that there are too many places like that out in this world. So a week with Paul and Ann in a beautiful lodge will be a life-changing experience. You owe it to yourself and to your family to set aside the time to get back in touch with what is important to you, to restore your health, your mind, and your spirit. Take home the simple disciplines that you will incorporate into your daily life. Rebuild that relationship with God during this time. That will help you as you renew your relationships with family and friends. Surround yourself with the knowledge that this is an investment and it is going to change the rest of your life. All right, and we put together a, a new website. You want to talk about it for just a second? Oh, that is quite an interesting. We started this website, I think, before we were even in this house because we. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. So you are seeing pictures of this house that aren't even on the website because we weren't in here when this website was developed. But it will have several frequently asked questions that we thought, well, we don't need to put them all here. So you'll find that to be the case. You'll have a reservation location there so you can actually book a week. We've got them through the end of July right now. And that's because we don't really know what to expect. This is new for us. We can have 500 people at a health minister training, but we don't know what it's like having 10 people over at our house for a week. So we're trying to determine what's next in, uh, in August. So that's what our website is, and it will be available to you tonight. Um, what else can I tell them about this? Well, if at the very bottom of that website, there's a place where you can download a free book um, that Ann wrote, and it's, uh, what is it, the 10 ways to clean up your life? Yeah. And so it really is quite an informative um, book that's, that's free to download. You just need to go to the healthretreat.com and scroll down to the very bottom. A lot of the information on the website is what we've presented here, but scroll down to the bottom and um, sign up for that book. So you'll see on this page right here that he's got all open. That is what our website front page looks like. So you recognize the font, you recognize the husband and wife, you recognize all of that. That's what you'll see when you click on www.healthretreat.com. 
and uh, and that gives you much more information than we could even put here. A lot of it is the same, but some of it we just didn't go through every frequently asked question. So we look forward to, to having you come and join us. Um, Anne loves to entertain and she loves to help people. So, and I love to be a good helper. <laughs> <laughs> and he has been. Yes. So, we'll, Anne, we've got quite a few questions here. Um, they're right down here in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the one question here says, what do you suggest regarding lectins in many of the foods Hallelujah Acres suggest for the diet? What I would suggest is lectins themselves aren't necessarily the only problem. It reminds me very much of the people that came to me that had just lists of, of foods that they could not eat because they had health issues when they ate them. So what we do is we rebuild your immune system. And in the, in the process of doing that, you'll find that even those lists that have lectins in them aren't going to affect you as detrimentally as you thought they would because you've then rebuilt your immune system. We even had a case where a gentleman had, he was severely celiac. And the point I'm trying to make is when we rebuilt his immune system, he was able to actually look at a piece of toast, have a piece of bread without going into some terrible situation. I think that we overanalyze sometimes. And what we've got to do is we've got to understand these are foods that were given to us by God. So, but we didn't eat those foods from the day that we were born. We actually kind of ended up in different worlds where our immune system was compromised. Let's rebuild the, comp the, the compromised immune system and then see what happens to us. Um, somebody asks, uh, do you recommend any other juices, juicers besides the Champion and Green Star Wheat? And we do have the Huron juicer. Um, and our customer service staff would really be able to help guide you through that. There's also an angel juicer that's quite a bit more expensive that is for the really um, diehard juicers, and I think they have information on that as well. So there's um, several different juicers out there, but they would be able to walk through and probably answer any questions for you um, better than we can do on a call here like this. Another question is how do we get B12? Should we be taking a supplement? Uh, our PhD biochemist did a study on that several years ago, and his response was, yes, if your intention is to not consume meat and very little fish products, then you would want to take a supplement. I take a B12 supplement every day. In fact, I take a B complex supplement. So I think it's imperative that we continue to get the B12 in us mm -hmm. in a supplement form. And whether you're a meat eater or not, there are... Uh, uh, Meat eaters are deficient in B12 as well, so everybody really would benefit from B12 supplementation. So are there bathrooms or showers only? Actually, we have both. So if you prefer to have a shower, you may want to let me know that. If you prefer to have a bathtub that has a shower with it, you would need for me to let me know that as well because I have, I think I have two bathtubs, and the rest of them are just showers. We're counting. I'm counting because I have quite a few. So we, we do have options for bathtubs, mm -hmm. yeah. but you need to let me know that. Oh, what is the cost, please? Thank you. Oh, that's we, a good question. To <laughs> <laughs> we meant to do that. I'm sorry. Yeah, but the cost for the week is 2500 Yeah, $2,500. On the whole body tuner, will you be able to read the ultrasound? Oh, that's Carol. <laughs> Um, no, there's no ultrasound with that. It is an ultrasound, but not the way you think. The ultrasound that we're using doesn't, is not next to a machine like you would see in a, in a hospital type setting. So what, what ends up doing with the ultrasound is because your body is 70% water, it's actually using the water within your body to help try to get the um, therapy into you at a deeper level. So it doesn't just go in through the skin and so forth. It actually uses... Um, ultrasound to push it farther. What about dental detox? I think it's imperative that you work on getting dental detox. I don't have a dental resident in hand, but we will talk about the importance of dental detox as part of our conversations here. And, and there's some uses with ozone um, for detoxing dentally. So that's something that can definitely be addressed if somebody has an issue. Good idea. So how is ozone therapy administered? 
Um, it, it is not something you breathe. You don't want to breathe those ozone. Um, it actually, there's several different ways. One is through the ears. One is through the rectum. Um, there's also cupping that you can do on specific spots within the body if there's something going on there, or there's bagging if it's like a limb or something that needs additional um, benefit. So, but it is not breathing. You don't want to breathe ozone. I believe health ministers should come for a trial run, LOL. I'll volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Victoria. I appreciate that very much. And would you do an on-site tour? No, we're really um, not looking to do tours, And if I understood that right, for people just to come. Um, we want to have people here who are guests, and we don't want to have people just showing up for, for tours oh. while we're doing guests. I was thinking she might have meant, do we do a tour before they make a commitment to come? I don't know that. I'm just – we could interpret that a couple of ways. Hey. Tanya, if you want to um, send an email to admin at healthretreat.com, we can um, answer that question more specifically. And we do have a phone number. I didn't know what it was. It's, <laughs> it tells you how new we are. <laughs> if, you, if you send an email to admin, ad, admin at healthretreat.com, um, we can get back to you on that. That's right. Admin at healthretreat. Dot com. And can you bring your own juicer? You certainly can, but I, we have a, a pure juicer um, that just does an incredible job of making juice. But I don't recommend a, it. Yeah, we, no. don't, we don't want you necessarily making juice. No. Um, we love to make juice for you. If you haven't heard of the pure juicer, I would highly recommend you take a look at it. This is... Probably today's version of the Norwalk. Yeah, it's it's better than probably most other juicers that even can imagine. Um, where exactly is it? It's um, in Canton, Georgia, um, C A N T O N. It's just northeast of Atlanta, probably about 40 minutes. The maximum number of people that can come for a week. We have six guest suites. Each guest suite has one king bed. One of the king of the guest suites has a king bed and a queen bed because it's a large apartment. So the maximum number of people that we can get would be six times two is twelve. Mm -hmm. That's it. And we really want it to be in an intimate um, setting, so we, we don't want to have it just cram full of people. Um, you know, ten is probably a, a better number for us. So. Um, do we have a couple right? Uh, no. Uh, it's it's $2,500 a person. Are there any contraindications to any of the therapies? We do have some uh, instances where these therapies would not be beneficial for people that have a heart trans a heart um, pacemaker. pacemaker or any of the, any of those other implants. People that have epilepsy or certain neurological issues. We are fully cognizant of what type of situations there are, so we would. That's one of the reasons why I'm sending out that large health questionnaire. If you could be honest with me on those questionnaires, then none of us will get into any trouble. Does the fee include all therapies and treatments? Absolutely. Everything. So it's, and we want watch you using those as much as possible, which is one of the reasons why we really want to limit the number of people, we have to limit the number of people, is because we want people to be able to utilize these therapies, some of them an hour a day, um, depending on what the situation is that somebody's dealing with. So um, they're great therapies, but they don't do any good if people aren't able to use them. Um, how many weeks will we have week-long week classes? Right now we're doing every other week, yep. virtually through the end of July. The reason we're doing that many of them is because the coronavirus took a couple of months away from us. So we really do want to get as many as we can into this, but you need to understand we can't do this, and, and it may change in August. We may do less. Um, Paul and I are not spring chickens anymore, and I don't know if you've ever had week-long guests at your place for a week, but it is a very intensive experience. You can ask a lot of people that have done this. So 
From now until the end of July, we have committed to one, one every other week, and then we will determine how many more we feel like we can handle starting in August. Mm -hmm. And then discounts for health ministers, I don't think we've talked through that. No, but I think it's a great idea. Yeah. And we'd have to go back through and think of work, work on the website a little bit because that's not there. So send us an email at admin at healthretreat.com if you're wanting to do something in, in the near term, and um, we can see what we can make Absolutely. happen. Absolutely. I love that idea. Thank you for thinking of that. All right. Thank that's you it. so much for your participation and for the many questions for your interest. And um, we hope that uh, something here has piqued your interest. If you know of somebody that could use um, a, bolt, a boost in their health, feel free to send them to healthretreat.com and um, we'll see if we can get them the help that they need. Thank you for listening. We appreciated having you and we look forward to speaking with you again soon. All right. Thank you and we'll talk to you next month. God bless.